I've been looking forward to this review since mid-July when I purchased this Otherlands Beer Rite of Spring, a rustic honey saison. looks all sorts of pretty. It smells all sorts of pretty too. So preamble. First off, uh, this is not the last of the beers I've got from Pack Mule, but this is um, one of the ones that I had ori originally intended for uh, sharing at my birthday party. But once we made it through three, four beers, four beers um, that I was kind of doing a show and tell on, that was enough. Didn't want to overstay the uh, you know, that part of the welcome. <laughs> so I left this one on the fridge. Apologize for the barking in the background. I will do what I can with it and what I can't, I shall not. Anyways, so I have not had an Otherlands brewing beer before. This is the first of theirs. Um, Otherlands is out of Bellingham, Washington. And this is a Saison brewed with American and European hops, local honey, and fermented with our house mixed culture. House mixed culture, that means they have their own house yeasts or, um, well, it's, it's going to be yeasts. You're, you're not going to be inoculating this beer with, or inoculating, yeah, normal beers with anything besides yeasts. There are several breweries I'm aware of in the Northwest who have their own house, their own house uh, yeasts. Double Mountain down in River, Hood River, Oregon has one as well and does some wonderful things with it. Obviously, it's a little bit late to be spring, but Saisons in general are spring beers. Uh, they're generally brewed using whatever leftovers the farmer has, and they're used to feed the farmer, the uh, the farm workers. And the high labor time for that is uh, is spring. Once you've got your once you're into fall, you have you know fresh grains and stuff to be working on. So, just. Just at the outset, just the nose before I even stick my nose in there. The smell here is is just bursting with these bright uh, floral aromas, more than herbal, floral. So flowers rather than necessarily green herbs or dried herbs. Maybe some honeysuckle. I suppose that might be, um, yeah, they did use local honey in here. I did just read that. <laughs> and so maybe the, the um, maybe some of that honey, honey character is mixed with the floral notes and produces that. I'm not sure if I could identify any other flowers, any of the, fla any of the other floral notes specifically, but it just, it smells, it smells like spring, which I suppose is what they were going for, and they succeed, indeed, at least as far as the smell goes. Hmm. Mm. Oh, she's a tart one too. Maybe a bit of mint, almost? Oh. Coconut. Oh, that's interesting, and it might be a combination of other flavors. Um, kind of a soft, uh, milky, kind of note with a subtle sweetness and and a little bit of like live growing things and and so that kind of produces a, a coconut like uh element it smells a little bit tart but not sour so let's uh dive in and see how she drinks okay um it is tart it is decently tart. It is not like bracingly tart. This has been out of the fridge for, sorry, buzz off please. Um, this has been out of the fridge for 20 minutes now. I generally like my Saisons a little bit warmer than fridge temperature. Uh, so that also, and that also tends to take the edge off of any really strong tartness as the other sweeter notes can have a chance to come to life on the tongue. But the initial impression is one of tartness. But then there's some real, oh, oh yeah, uh, coconuts there. There's some really interesting um, 
nuances and really delicate flavors that come into play there. And it'll be interesting to see which of those I can actually identify and name because yeah, there's, this is a beautiful little complex beer. I suppose I shouldn't call it little, but I mean, it is a big bottle. So tart, but um, what kind of tartness is that? I'm trying to, you know, pick between, it's not, it's not a vinegar tartness. It's kind of a, a lemon tartness, but without the, the lemon characteristics, um, it kind of has a, a citrus tartness to it without being, um, actually citrus tasting. There's, there's no citrus tasting, citrus notes in here. It's instead these, and there's more herbs coming like green herbs, um, maybe like bay leaves, like a eucalyptus almost. And then, yeah, kind of on the finish, there's this interesting milky, uh, smooth, slightly earthy, subtly sweet note that reads very much coconut. That's, that's, that's really interesting. The tartness fades really fast, which is nice. And, and then it leaves your, your mouth like enlivened, which is something you can really appreciate about tart foods. And it's like, because it's enlivened, you feel like you're going on this hide and seek, but very successful hide and seek chase for all these additional floral notes. Um, I'm not tasting ripe fruit or ripe vegetables or ripe things, which, which once again, uh, kind of highlights the fact this is a spring beer. In spring, you're not getting ripe summer fruits that's still months away you're getting <laughs> the green shoots you're getting the the growing things you're getting the 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 initial um maybe less distinct aromas and flavors of these green plants that still have a lot of growing to do before they maybe develop the full extent of their of their unique characteristics and i think that plays in here you have this more a general um like new growth nature to this beer that's yeah i like that oh and some tea notes too like like herbal tea so a combination of like green tea leaves and those fresh flowers and such yeah good stuff it's really drinkable because it has a this tart almost um well i haven't really mentioned it but this falls in the same category as a maybe a, a Chardonnay or something. It's it's dry enough that it can play that part of a of a white wine, and that so you can think of as far as pairing it anything that a white wine would go with. This would work really nicely on a super hot day. Not that there's that many left of this year, but hey, you know I'm supposed to get warm in mid 80s next week. Hey, it's been a week of rain here, um, so it would work really nicely in that sort of day. Uh, there's enough nuance here that you can just like sip it and savor it, but it does have enough flavor in that, that kind of tart front that you don't have to feel like you have to suss out every last detail. It's just, it's, it's a good, it's a good beer that just drinks nicely for however you want to enjoy it. And I like that about it. It's a good beer. I'm enjoying this and I'm going to enjoy this a lot more because I got a lot more bottles to go through. <laughs> Anyways, this is me, Matthew. I have been chewing the brew, drinking, and enjoying Otherlands Beers, Rite of Spring, a rustic honey saison. And I will catch y'all on the flip side.